Hello guys, so if you want to buy a Meizu Pro 7 slash Pro 7 Plus, you might want to know the differences between the models. To make things more clear, let me just quickly explain to you which models are available. There are two versions, the Meizu Pro 7, which has a 5.2 inch screen and the Meizu Pro 7 Plus, which has a 5.7 inch screen. Now the Meizu Pro 7 Plus is available in two different versions. Both have the Helio X30 processor, both have 6 GB of LPDDR4X RAM and the difference is the memory size. You have the choice between 64 GB of UFS 2.1 storage or 128 GB of UFS 2.1 storage. Now for the smaller 5.2 inch version, the Meizu Pro 7, you have also two choices. The smallest version is the 4GB LPDDR4X RAM slash 64GB of EMMC 5.1 memory version, which comes with the Helio P25 processor, which is situated in the upper mid range. Now, if you go for the model with 128, GB of memory, you still get 4GB of LPDDR4X RAM, but the processor is different because this one also uses the Helio X30 processor. Now uh, the only version of the Meizu Pro 7 available that also offers a global version with band 20 LTE and multi-language is the smallest variant of the Pro 7 with the Helio P25 processor. So all other models with the Helio X30 processor do not come or do not yet come with a, um, a global option with multi-language and band 20 LTE. So design-wise there really isn't a difference between the models. They both look exactly the same, just of course the size is different. And they also are extremely slim. Um, both phones measure in at 7.3 mm of thickness, which is very low considering that in the Pro 7 Plus we've got a 3500 mAh battery and in the Pro 7 we've got a 3000 mAh battery squeezed inside this body um, along a secondary info display. So we've got a lot of technology going on inside of there. So. Really nice what Meizu did there. Regarding the info displays on the rear, there also isn't any difference. They both offer the same features, the same size, the same resolution and both are based on um, Super AMOLED screens. The biggest difference is the screen. As I said, 5.7 inches on the Pro 7 Plus, 5.2 inches on the Pro 7. And actually the Pro 7 Plus comes with a 2K resolution display, so you got a very high pixel density and you can't spot any pixels at all, no matter how close you come to the screen. Now for the Meizu Pro 7, we've only got full HD resolution and when you come very close, you can actually see single pixels on this phone, but you don't notice them during a normal viewing distance um, when using the phone on a daily basis. So basically in terms of sharpness there isn't really a difference just when you come very very close. Um, the picture quality of both panels is very similar. The Meizu Pro 7 might look a little more cold than the Meizu Pro 7 Plus, but that's basically the only difference. Color reproduction is great on both screens. Another difference those phones have is that the Meizu Pro 7 Plus has the brighter display. Um, the Meizu Pro 7 Plus reaches up to 600 nits of brightness, which is really, really bright for AMOLED screen and makes it very easily readable outdoors. Now, uh, the Meizu Pro 7 um, isn't as bright as the Pro 7 Plus. I think if I remember right, it's around 400 nits or something like that. Um, however, you can still read it well outdoors, but not as good as the Meizu Pro 7 Plus, but still the panel is much brighter on the Pro 7 than it used to be on the Meizu Pro 6, where the lack of brightness was a huge issue because it was really hard to see anything under bright sunshine. Touchscreen wise, there isn't any difference on those phones. Both devices have a 10 point touchscreen and it's a very good one with short reaction time and great precision. 
Since we have different processors inside of there, the smallest model with the Helio P25 and uh, then the small Pro 7 Plus version with the Helio X30, the question is how different is performance? Now I have to say that during normal everyday use with standard apps you mostly won't notice much of a difference. Only in those apps that are a little more demanding the Helio X30 provides the smoother user experience but aside from that there really are no stutters or anything like that on both phones. So let's just simultaneously open up Facebook on both devices and see what happens. So as you can see, the Mason. Okay, I hate this autoplay. So as you have been able to see, the Mason Pro 7 Plus um, was able to open up Facebook a little faster. But that's not due to the processor, but more because of the memory. The UFS 2.1 memory is significantly faster than the EMMC 5.1 memory we have inside of there. So that's why it opens up um, quicker. But what happens when we scroll through the Facebook newsfeed? So as you can see, this is very smooth on the Meizu Pro 7 Plus. And now let's scroll through the newsfeed on the Hideo P25 based Pro 7. So as you can see, there is a little bit more stutter, but just a tiny bit. So it's a little bit less smooth here because this is a demanding app than on the Pro 7 Plus with Helio X30. So that's where you can notice the performance difference a little bit. Where you actually notice the performance difference the most is gaming. Um, the GPU performance is very different in those chipsets. The um, Helio X30 offers a very powerful PowerVR GPU, whereas uh, the Helio P25 only has a Meili T880 MP2 GPU. And this one actually is much less powerful than the PowerVR GPU of uh, the Helio X30. And you notice that in some games in terms of graphics quality. So here we are looking at the game Race Kings and as you can see um, the textures look a little bit mushy and there is no anti-aliasing going on and there might be a tiny bit of stutteriness going on which you might not be able to see here through the camera um, because it's just very minor. So for comparison sake let's have a look at how the Pro 7 Plus with Helio X30 renders this game. So now we are looking at Race Kings on the Meizu Pro 7 Plus and as you are immediately able to see the graphics quality is much better there. Reflections and light effects look um, much better. There is anti-aliasing going on and also the texture quality is much better. And if we play around with the camera here a bit and zoom in on the car, you see that the quality of the textures is really, really amazing. Um, so. Games often do look much better on the Meizu Pro 7 Plus. So if you are a gamer, you might want to choose the Helio X30 versions um, of any of those phones. Software-wise, both devices run Android 7.0 Nougat and Flyme 6.2 on top. But as you can see, they both run an outdated security patch um, where the Meizu Pro 7 actually has the older patch from March 2017, whereas the Pro 7 Plus runs a security patch from April 2017. So let's just hope that they will update those security patches with some of their next OTA updates. Um, both phones are updated very frequently and probably for years to come, so there is nothing to worry about that. In terms of bugs, they still have to solve some issues on uh, the Pro 7 Plus. Some games and apps are not compatible and there are some issues with the Facebook Messenger. Um, also on the Pro 7 that's the case, but those app compatibility issues are not there on this phone. And for example, Asphalt Extreme doesn't run on this phone, but it does on this. So this might be related to the GPU driver or something like that. I hope they will fix this at some time in the future. 
And what's kind of annoying on both phones is that the camera application is a little buggy and unstable. If you put it into the background and then open up again, sometimes things don't work anymore, like focus, for example, and you need to restart the camera app. So those issues are present on both phones. The reception quality on both phones is very similar. There are just um, minute differences, mostly for Wi-Fi. Let's start with mobile networks. They both perform exactly the same. There really isn't any difference in terms of signal strength, so that's good to see. And regarding Wi-Fi, the Meizu Pro 7 Plus I have in my hand there supports AC Wi-Fi, which you can see on those high speeds reached with my internet connection. And what's quite insane there is that the reception quality really is that good that you can even go one floor below the router and still get those high speeds. Now, if we compare that to the Pro 7 with Helio P25, this phone only supports ABG and dual band Wi-Fi, so it's not as fast. So as you can see next to the router, I only got around 80 Mbit per second of downstream, which is less compared to the Pro 7 Plus. And when moving one floor below, the bandwidth dropped to 46 Mbit per second, which still is good, but not as good as the Meizu Pro 7 Plus. On the other hand, if you go for the small Pro 7 model with the Helio X30 processor, you get again AC Wi-Fi, so the results should be comparable to the Pro 7 Plus there. And the GPS performance of both phones um, really is not different. They both offer an excellent GPS performance, great signal strength, great accuracy. There really is no issue when doing tracking or navigation. They just perform very well there. Both the Meizu Pro 7 and the Pro 7 Plus do offer a mono speaker, which might sound disappointing because stereo speakers usually are better. But in terms of the Meizu Pro 7 Plus, this is not a disadvantage because the phone speaker is really, really loud great quality and surprisingly intense basses. Now the Meizu Pro 7, due to its smaller size, has less basses, but it does reach pretty much the same volume level and it also sounds really good. So there are again um, really intense basses, not as intense as on the Pro 7 Plus, but still very good. So both phones sound rather nice. The earpiece of both phones sounds very similar. There really is no difference in quality, so it doesn't matter which phone you choose in terms of phone call quality. And regarding the headphone jack, both devices offer a dedicated amplifier and audio chipset, so you get really, really amazing audio quality on those. Um, those are probably one of the best choices for high-end headphones because the output is just insane on both devices and completely um, identical. There really is no difference on the headphone jack. In terms of camera, you might not expecting a huge difference between the Meizu Pro 7 Plus and the Meizu Pro 7 with Helio P25 because both phones have exactly the same camera setup. Same sensors, same resolution and same aperture values. But there still is a difference. Not at daylight, those pictures look perfectly fine on both phones, very similar, insane amount of detail, great colors, really nice um, camera performance. But um, when doing low light photography and especially when talking about manual mode using a tripod and long exposure, you notice quite significant differences between the two phones when comparing them. While the Meizu Pro 7 Plus with long exposure shots does very nice pictures that in terms of colors look extremely realistic and show need to no noise, the Meizu Pro 7 with the Helio P25 um, has some slight reddish colors which don't look as realistic as on the Pro 7 Plus and also there is a little bit more noise going on. Now the reason for this most likely is the camera ISP which is a different one in the Helio X30 than in the Helio P25. So if you want to get superior camera performance, um, especially in low light photography, you should go for a model with the Helio X30 and that's either the um, Pro 7 Plus or uh, the Helio X30 version of the small Meizu Pro 7. 
Another difference those phones have in terms of camera is video resolution. The Mesa Pro 7 Plus allows you to create 4K videos but with no electronic image stabilization and the focus is a bit slow in this mode. Only when you enable 1080p recording you have EIS, anti-shake and a faster focus available. But on the Meizu Pro 7, the Helio P25 version of it, you cannot use 4K recording. The maximum resolution for videos there is 1080p, but you get EIS as well and the focus is pretty damn speedy on this one. Um, for the 16 megapixel front camera, both phones support 1080p video recording. If battery life is the most important thing for you, you might want to choose the Helio P25 version of the Meizu Pro 7. Um, I don't want to say that the Pro 7 Plus has a bad battery life, it has not, it's actually a very good battery life, but the Mesa Pro 7 with the Helio P25 processor is just a bit better. Just look at those screen on times, the Mesa Pro 7 Plus reaches an average of 8 hours 18 minutes of screen on time and the Mesa Pro 7 with the Helio P25 despite its little smaller battery um, 3000 milliamps compared to 3500 milliamps has 9 hours and 9 minutes which, which is definitely better. You get around 2 days of battery life with one single charge which is a very decent result. And charging time actually is different on those phones as well. As you can see the Meizu Pro 7 Plus charges its larger battery to 100% from 20% within just one hour. Now the Meizu Pro 7 is a bit slower. It takes two hours or almost two and a half hours to fully charge it from 20%. So charging is quite a bit slower on this one. So there you go. That's about the main key differences between the Meizu Pro 7 with Helio P25 and a Meizu Pro 7 Plus with Helio X30. So as you have been able to see, they are very similar here and there. There are some differences, but in general, both are very, very good phones with a great value for the money. Now, which of those suites the best for you is something you, of course, have to decide on your own based on those um, pros and cons I showed you for both devices. So I hope this little comparison video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.